गुड आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डी एन मोदी म्यूनिसिपल कमिश्नर गांधीनगर म्यूनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन राइट नाउ आई एम वेरी हैप्पी टू डिक्लेयर दैट द प्रिपरेशन टू पुट अप द प्रपोजल फॉर स्मार्ट सिटी गांधीनगर इज ऑलमोस्ट ऑन द वर्ग ऑफ कंप्लीशन एंड आफ्टर अ कंटिन्यूस discussion feedback uh, getting feedback from people of gandhinagar citizen of gandhinagar and all intellectuals all democratic party and all elected members from gandhinagar mm -hmm. including all institutes and all i mean to say all the community all the civil society and everyone we are now able to define what should be our sc first of all what we have done is as you might be knowing gandhinagar is having a very good grid planning after chandigarh this is the city which was planned in meticulous manner and we are having four lane to six lane roads major road network the road network is state of art we are having some 30 buses over the city to cover the whole area of gmc and guda then 600 cycles per day that is our g bike that is gandhinagar bike this is our uh, bicycle initiative in gandhinagar which is getting 600 hits per day then we have covered the whole city under closed circuit tv camera and wifi network and speed detection face detection etc facility the water availability in gandhinagar is more than 200 lpg the water supply is from narmada and we are having 4 oht and 100% water supply in gandhinagar is secure then what is the situation of swm as far as swm is concerned we are having 100% toilet coverage and the gandhinagar city has been declared open defecation free on 5th of october 2016 all the household and industrial solid waste coverage the door to door collection is 100% the efficiency of collection of municipal solid waste both uh, solid as well as liquid is 100% then uh, smart gandhinagar as i have said previously we are having 207 camera fixed here that include all type of camera like it is at anpr speed and face detection we have connected installed some 750 outdoor wifi access points to that we are covering covering almost 75% of gandhinagar city and giving daily half an hour network uh, data free to the citizen of gandhinagar one more initiative we have done during last one year is 100% street lights have been replaced with led and some of the areas have been even replaced and fitted with additional facility of motion sensor so in the sense real smart lights and through these lights if i say about saving in uh, electric bill that comes to be around 40% i mean to say the bill of february 16 and the bill of february 17 for the street light part 40% saving we could manage and through that carbon footprint is also reduced like that we have created some five environmental sensors in the city and it's a small city having only 56 square kilometer area and for that we have constructed five digital signages in uh, and they are having facility of five environmental sensors and 13 public administration uh, account system uh, sorry announce system through which we can uh, announce as per government convenience as well as we can communicate faster now what are the span so the span is capital of gujarat and venue of gujarat uh, vibrant um, uh, exhibition and it is arranged every alternate year we have got excellent connectivity the more thing is that this is india's three capital 4.25 three per capita i think it is the highest in asia this is also city of knowledge as we know mahatma mandir the biggest convention center is situated in gandhinagar as well as akshardham the famous temple is also in gandhinagar we have some one dozen 
approximately university and institutes like iit are also in the vicinity of gandhinagar in the neighborhood neighborhood of gandhinagar we have got opportunity so uh, meanwhile i finish my narration you are all requested to give your any of your suggestion or feedback or complaint on the number that is 9898147072 please ask your suggestions feedback or question or query on number i repeat it is 9898147072 470 this is the number on which you can ask your queries and suggestions now what are the opportunity the opportunity is to develop a regional smart city hub along with amdavad and get city gandhinagar can be a connectivity hub between the two cities of amdavad and the new the gift city we have planned the metro route between amdavad and gandhinagar and gift city now what are the weaknesses weaknesses for gandhinagar are declining population growth institutional capacity with gns to manage few urban connections inadequate last mile connectivity similar looking urban facade unplanned parking spaces unfavorable weather for 8 to 9 months that i mean to say scorching heat in summer what are the threats the encroachment on the catchment lands non uniform water restriction high high brain drain and inefficient sdp so these are all sort analysis we have done on the uh, foundation of all the seminar and workshop and the feedback we have received from the city now what is our strategic blueprint is that we are working on three pivots one is to transform gandhinagar into a future ready city then focus on providing sustainable infrastructure and services to citizens of gandhinagar and thereby making it the most citizen friendly so one is future ready another is citizen friendly and the third one is providing social services to citizens of gandhinagar which are accessible affordable and best of the best quality so we have defined the spg it is like that reduction of adverse environmental impact even today if you see gandhinagar gandhinagar is really uh, smart looking and a uh, good city so i would say it's a better city and we would like to convert it into best citizen friendly and a future ready city we want to increase the green public place spaces in gandhinagar want to provide accessibility to all citizens of gandhinagar irrespective of what is their age or what is their physical ability i am mean to say the child old age and dibyang everyone should have equal accessibility in gandhinagar and no one should feel lacuna only because of their age or because of their physical ability then the resource efficiency and resilience so we want to convert the city into better citizen friendly future ready and a resilient city we have done the citizen consultation and i would like to say it is almost 50 per 4% 54% of uh, the citizen has been covered up till now we had put total four different different area plans for the area based development plan and the area uh, area sector which has been selected was on the ground of 51% of voting for that particular option and that area has been selected which is covering almost 1335 acre of land and the number of household living in this area is 7500 approximately so the population in this area would be around 35000 and which is almost 17% of the population of gandhinagar and now what are our abd initiative so they are number one we want to provide 24 by 7 water supply by that we would be able to provide the network 150 lpc so in a way we would reduce the total water supply but not the not at the uh, what we say 
at the loss of any benefit but we would like to streamline the water supply system with 24 by 7 and water meter then the storm water drainage storm water drainage we would uh, right now the storm water drainage is there but it is on the main road only but within the sectors and internal parts of the area the storm water line is missing so here we want to provide both the way simultaneously one way it will be storm water drainage so it would solve the problem of water logging in months of monsoon at the same time it would by the matter of recharging it would also enhance the water meter in Jamnagar. Then we want to convert 6.5 kilometer smart road which will be uh, having all the facilities as defined by MOUD. Then the smart electrical metering. Now one more thing is happening in Jamnagar. Just before two three months, Honorable PM sir has uh, what we say the land uh, ceremony has been declared and the work has been started for the redevelopment of the railway station of Gandhinagar. So the railway station Gandhinagar is going to redevelop soon and within the next two years the project will be over. The project is also comprising a five star hotel. So it's a very very big project coming to Gandhinagar. At the same time we are redeveloping the bus terminal of Gandhinagar because to provide the synergy of all the railway station passengers with road connectivity, we are also going to develop the SP bus depot, a new avatar. Then we are planning a startup knowledge and freelancing center at sector 11. And the center would provide all the facilities to entrepreneurs, students, and freelance companies. For the traffic and transportation, as I say, smart road and redevelopment of state bus terminal. Also, we are creating two to three underpasses on the busy road. One busy road is the road, GH road. On that and the uh, junction number four, we are willing to provide that underpass as well as at the G4, which is going on the road to Mahatma Mandir. There also we are providing one underpass and that would take better care of the traffic commuting in Gandhinagar and the northern part of Gandhinagar. Then some multi-level car parking. In the busy area, we are going to provide uh, two to three multi-level car parking. One more it is, uh, initiative is retrofitting of sector level gardens. In all, 10 parks would be retrofitted under this project and also the retrofitting of open space there is one cricket ground in sector 21 and some of the arrangements or you can say the open air theater in sector 22 and sector 20. Then one more development of city square. The sector 22, that is a very good happening area and just to make it more attractive as far as people of Gandhinagar is concerned and the people coming to Gandhinagar, we are developing this area as city square that is near that uh, temple Panchdev, which is very famous in Gandhinagar and having a lot of food, footfalls, I think highest number of footfalls is there in Gandhinagar. So that area will be more booming and more happening. After that, community toilets and bus stop application, I, I said. Then as far as NMT is concerned, we are going to provide cycle track Right now, it is of some 8 to 10 kilometers of length. We are going to build it more to the length of 27 kilometers. 900 normal cycles and 100 two-seater cycles, bicycles can be uh, the next one. Then the battery operated vehicles to lessen the environmental issue and retrofitting of parking and shopping area. Then environmentally sustainable, as I said, recycled water network, only the segregation, rest to wealth, and solar panel grid system. Right now, Gandhinagar is already having a lot of solar power generation. Right now, 9.9 .9 megawatt is already installed, which is coming to approximately 6% of the consumption of Gandhinagar energy. 
and we want to make it 7.15 megawatt more and through that 11% of total consumption will be now solar generation. As far as finance matter is concerned, total ABD area would be approximately 1,676 crore rupees. Now, Pan City initiatives. We are going to create one integrated command and control center. And in mobility, we are providing ITMS, smart parking, learning and skilling, water management, municipal operations with all ERP and e healthcare.